After any type of disturbance, such as a management activity like thinning or prescribed fire, one concern is invasion of invasive species and especially invasive annual grasses. Invasive species can outcompete native vegetation and especially plants that are important for pollinators. Controlling invasive species may need to be incorporated into your management plan not only after a management activity, but throughout the life of the stand. Here at the High Desert Museum, the number one invasive species we're dealing with each year is cheatgrass. So behind us is one method we're using to try to reduce the amount of cheatgrass we have on the property, and that's called solarization. And solarization, simply put, is taking thick plastic, putting it on the ground for an extended period of time, and cooking the ground to the, to the degree that you sterilize the soil and everything living in the soil, including cheatgrass, cheatgrass seeds, uh, and also even native species will die over the course of that solarization. We put this plastic down in April and we'll leave it on the ground through the spring into the summer and then we won't pull it back up again until the fall, likely September. And the reason we want it on the ground for that interim of time is so the heat through the summer is able to really cook the ground. Now once we pull the plastic back up in the fall, we'll immediately begin to replant and reseed this site with native species, including bunch grasses and shrubs. One of the reasons that we want to reseed and replant in the fall is so we can use the natural precipitation that this region begins to get in the fall to the winter season to help us establish those plants. We might also need to irrigate depending on what kind of fall we end up having when it comes to snow or rain. So solarization is actually an experimental method for us at the High Desert Museum. We've never done it before. If it does go well, we will be able to reuse the plastic you see behind us on other sites uh, that the museum owns that might be dealing with cheatgrass. In addition to solarization, treating invasive species can be achieved with other techniques, such as herbicide application, mechanical removal, or even prescribed fire or some combination of each of those. So we did use a combination of those methods before we put down the plastic. This plastic does require some upkeep, uh, so sometimes you might need to come out and retape portions of it. And also we end up having to hand pull cheatgrass that begins to escape and grow around the very edges of the plastic. Removing invasive species like cheatgrass is critical to then support healthy pollinator habitat. This is just one of the many methods we could use to control invasives and improve pollinator habitat on our property.